So when it comes to any vintage hairstyle, curling is almost always the first step you have to take. So today, I will be showing you the two easiest and healthiest methods of curling your hair the vintage way. So when applying pillow curlers, you want to do it in sections. So take out the bottom section of your hair and pin up the rest out of the way. Now if your hair isn't wet already, make sure that you wet your hair. If your hair is the frizzy type, also use a styling lotion as reinforcement. Next grab no more than an inch of hair. Now take your pillow curler and place it under your hair and wind it over. In general, you always want to wind the hair over the curler instead of under it. Just a note, the curler is like a flexible sponge, so the tighter you wind it, the tighter the curl becomes. Alrighty, so then you want to fold and twist the ends so that way it stays nice and tight. You can do this for your entire head, but since I'm showing you another method, I'm just going to do the back of the head. So for pin curling, you can use either hair clips or bobby pins. So again, you'll be doing the same first steps of parting your hair, wetting it, and applying hair products as needed. Now to form the curl, lay your finger flat across your head, and then wind the curls over. Again, always over, never under. Then take the sides and slide your finger out so you can securely attach the bottom of the curl to your head with the bobby pin or hair clip. For comfort, you can lay the curl down and pin it that way too. I just like to stand my curls up as it gives you more volume at the base. So you want to do this all over your head up until where you want your hairline parted. Once you reach that line, you want to do the same method but have the curl facing the opposite direction. So we are all done. You just want to leave these on overnight or all day and by the time you remove them, this is how your curls should come out. Deciding what method to use is completely up to you. You can see that the curls came out exactly the same anyway, but if you ask me, I personally find pin curling on short hair and pillow curling on medium to long hair is the easiest. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you stay tuned by subscribing so you don't miss the rest of my vintage hairstyling series.